Welcome to Blink Brief, where history's mysteries come alive. Today, we're delving into the enigmatic world of the Forbidden City. Picture this. The year is 1406. Emperor Yongle, a visionary ruler of the Ming Dynasty, orchestrates the birth of a city that would become the epicenter of Chinese power for nearly five centuries. This grand project would require an army of laborers, over a million in strength, working tirelessly to bring the emperor's vision to life. And the location? The heart of Beijing, China. A strategic and symbolic center that would echo the might of the empire. The city was designed as a labyrinth, a place where only the chosen few could tread, henceforth earning its name, the Forbidden City. Thus began the creation of a city within a city, a place of power and mystery. The Forbidden City wasn't just a palace, it was an architectural marvel of its time. As we journey through this ancient city, let's delve into the architectural wonders that make it so remarkable. The Meridian Gate and imposing entrance was once the symbol of imperial power and the Hall of Supreme Harmony, the largest hall within the Forbidden City, was a testament to the grandeur and opulence of ancient Chinese architecture. Each structure within the Forbidden City was meticulously crafted with symbolism and purpose in mind. The dominant colors of red and yellow were not just aesthetic choices. Red symbolized good fortune and joy, while yellow, the color of the emperor, represented the ultimate power of the throne. And let's not forget the Imperial Garden, a tranquil oasis amidst the bustling city where emperors once strolled and contemplated the affairs of the state. An artistic masterpiece, the Forbidden City stands as a testament to the grandeur of ancient Chinese architecture. Imagine what life was like for the emperors within these grand walls. Within the Forbidden City the emperors led a life of unparalleled luxury and power. Their day-to-day -day existence was governed by time-honored rituals and rigorous protocols. Every morning began with a ceremonial awakening, followed by a series of courtly duties that extended well into the night. The emperors were not alone in their grandeur, they were surrounded by a legion of attendants, including concubines and eunuchs. The concubines, chosen for their beauty and virtue, lived in the imperial harem, a realm shrouded in mystery and intrigue. The eunuchs on the other hand, were trusted servants who held significant power within the palace, often acting as intermediaries between the emperor and the outside world. Yet despite the opulence, life in the Forbidden City was not without its perils. Power struggles and palace intrigues were commonplace, making the palace a hotbed of conspiracy and betrayal. Life in the Forbidden City was a world of its own, a world of power, luxury, and intrigue. The Forbidden City wasn't just about grandeur and power, it was also a place of secrets. Beneath the ornate roofs and towering walls, a labyrinth of hidden chambers and secret tunnels sprawled, shrouded in mystery. These covert corners whispered tales of intrigue and clandestine affairs, echoing the whispers of those who once tread their hushed corridors. But the secrets weren't limited to these concealed spaces. The name Forbidden City itself is shrouded in enigma. Contrary to popular belief the name doesn't denote exclusion of the common folk. Rather it signifies a sacred space where earthly beings could commune with celestial entities. And then, there are the unexplored corners, the sealed vaults that are yet to divulge their secrets. Who knows what tales of power, passion and peril they hold. Even today the Forbidden City keeps some of its secrets well hidden. As we peel back the layers of time each revelation only deepens the intrigue making this ancient citadel an enduring enigma. Time moved on, dynasties fell, and the Forbidden City opened its doors to the world. This once secluded palace, a symbol of imperial power and prestige, began a new chapter as a museum, the Palace Museum, in the early 20th century. The transformation was far from simple. Yet it allowed the Forbidden City to survive and thrive, preserving its countless treasures for future generations. Today, the Palace Museum houses an astounding one million artifacts, spanning over a thousand years of Chinese history. From intricate jade carvings to priceless scrolls, each artifact whispers a tale of the past, waiting to be discovered. The museum's allure is undeniable, drawing in close to 15 million visitors a year, each eager to step back in time and explore the wonders of the Forbidden City. Today, the Forbidden City, a world heritage site, continues to awe and inspire with its grandeur, mystery and history. So come join the throng and allow yourself to be captivated by this timeless testament to human endeavor. Wait, the journey isn't over yet. As we stand in awe of the Forbidden City and its countless mysteries, we invite you to continue this thrilling journey through time with Blink Brief. We are not just creating content, 
we are crafting experiences, revealing the hidden secrets of history, and plunging into the unknown. We're not just spectators, we're explorers, and we're thrilled to have you along for the ride. So, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and share this excitement with your friends. Remember, each subscribe, like, and share unravels another piece of the puzzle. Stay curious, stay intrigued, and stay with Blink Brief. The past is full of secrets waiting to be unveiled. Together we can uncover them. So, what are you waiting for? Let's dive back into the depths of history and continue this incredible journey. This is Blink Brief, where curiosity meets history.